I believe many would agree that society today grapples with an identity crisis like never before. A world filled with uncertainties and conflicting messages about our own identity. We're bombarded with questions about our gender, our sexual orientation, and even our astrological sign. We live in a world where our youth are weighed down with conflicting messages and uncertainties. They are told that perhaps the Creator made a mistake in forming them in the womb. In Jeremiah 1.5, the Lord tells Jeremiah that He knew him before He formed him in the womb. And in Psalms 139, 13-18, David talks about how God knitted him together in his mother's room. But the narrative of today's society suggests that we might have been meant to be something opposite of who we were born to be, questioning the very essence of our own identity. But amidst the noise and uncertainty, I want to ask you to reflect on who you truly believe you are. For instance, for me, I see myself as a princess of the highest king, a daughter to the father of fathers, a warrior to the kingdom. I'm a wife, a protector of my covenant to my husband. I'm a mother, a mama bear, and I am a friend, a sister, and a daughter. And then in just my day-to-day -day life, I'm a director at the Re Center. I am a non-paid glorified taxi driver to my kids, and I am a creator of last-minute dinner cuisines. But how do I know I am these things? I certainly am a glorified taxi driver of, of my kids, but how do you know, or I know, we are the things we claim to be? As we ponder this, let me challenge you with another question. Who does the Father say you really are? The Bible is filled with verses upon verses that answer this very question, that God tells us who we are. John 15, 16 reminds us that you did not choose me, but I chose you and I appointed you. Matthew 5, 14 declares that you, or we, are the light of the world. We are a city on a hill. Ephesians 2.10 echoes that, For we are His workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works. Isaiah 43.1 assures us that, I have redeemed you and I have called you by name, and that you are mine. Romans 8.16-17 affirms, The Spirit Himself bears witness with our spirit, and that we are children of God, heirs of God, and fellow heirs with Christ. And my personal favorite, 1 Peter 2.9 encourages us, but you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for His possession. These verses are how I know I am the things I shared and how Jesus reminds me to own my position and not just claim those titles. Our identity is found in Christ. We are not in the midst of an identity crisis, but we are in the midst of a we need Jesus crisis. We are given a promise that when we seek Him, we will find Him, and we will know who we are by reading the Scriptures. Our identity is found in Him, Christ Jesus, the same Christ who hung on that cross, writhing in pain, suffocating, and dying for us as the perfect sacrifice, all the while knowing that we would still question and struggle with the question of who we are in Him, or who we are, period. I want to challenge you this week to look up the verses that I shared and carefully read who God says you are. I ask that you remember this, that He, He's for you and He's not against you. We are a chosen race, a royal, we're royal princesses and princes to the King. We are adopted by the perfect Father. Our identity, it is solid and it is grounded in Christ. Because if you seek Him, I promise that you will find Him and you will find your true identity.